All right, welcome back everyone. Um, we're working with the Typhoon again today. Just going through some basic settings, kind of a first setup, uh, showing you some of the features. Today, we're gonna be doing the DC side of the machine. So let's get over to the machine and I'll run through all the settings real quick. All right, so here we are at the machine. Today, we're running our Typhoon 330, but between the, the 230, the 330, and the 500, the menus are all the same. So we're gonna go over to DC today, hit our little over arrow, now we're on DC. So again, we select everything. We scroll through with the knob. We have our up and down arrow to select our upper and lower menu. So you can see we're on pedal remote. Tungsten mode, we're on manual. High frequency start. We're going to go ahead and turn this pulse off for now. But on the Typhoon, we do have DC pulse wave shape. So we have square, triangle, whoop, triangle, and sign and trapezoid for our wave shape pulse. So this actually controls how you ramp up and how you ramp down into your highs and lows. So you can really, with like a sine pulse, um, you can really get kind of like a, like a pedal pulse feel to it. So it's a slower ramp up and ramp down instead of a straight um, up and down. So we're gonna go ahead and turn pulse off for now. Just do a real basic setup. We also have a, a spot and a fast tack, which we'll go over here in a little bit. So we come up to our pre-flow, again, press in to select. We'll go one second pre-flow, press again to deselect. So here we are at our start amps. We have a minimum of two amps. Of course, this is the 330. So we've got 330 start amps if you wanted to blow your tungsten up. We're gonna go ahead and leave that on our minimum. So minimum there, we've got our main amps. Let's just go ahead and turn it up to 201. Then we have our post flow. Again, we have a, a fine adjustment like we did on our EXTs, but you can also push in and get a course adjustment. So we can go up to 60 seconds of post flow. Obviously you can go all the way down to none if you wanna burn your tungsten up too. Go ahead and set that to 10 for now. So there's your basic settings for your, your DC TIG side. Again, at the top of the menu, we're on 240 volts, TIG, DC, in manual mode. We also have power set for DC where you can put in your material thickness, your material type, uh, your tungsten diameter, your joint type, and we'll kind of give you a, you know, a, a rough setting to get started again you do have some range of adjustment for your amperage within that as well. But we'll leave power set off for now. So just a, a couple more features of the, uh, the Typhoon on the DC side. Again, we can go down to our lower menu. We'll go ahead and turn our pulse on. So as we turned our pulse on, this obviously opened up a lot more options. So our pulse time is our amount of time on or at our higher amperage. So 60% is a pretty decent start. Pulse frequency is how many pulses per second. So for pulse frequency, I like 1.8. You can down to 0.1. You can also, even with the course adjustment, you have to scroll for a while, but 999.9 hertz. So let's call it a thousand hertz DC pulse. And we can, run a, we can run a couple beads with some super high pulse. What this will do is it'll give you a lot of arc stability. Um, and that's what a high speed pulse is for, is it, it really concentrates the arc. It gives you a super stable, very rigid arc. And we'll, uh, we'll run a couple beads with that real quick, just to show you what that can do. It actually starts sounding, it starts sounding like you're running AC because the pulse is so fast and the frequency and the pitch is so high. It kind of sounds like you're running AC even though you're on DC. So we'll do that here in a second. And our background amperage, that's what our amperage is on the low side based on a percentage of our main amps. So 30% is a pretty good, pretty good start. That's kind of where I like it. So there's a real simple pulse profile setup. Again, we can also go down and we can change how our pulse ramps in and out from our high to lows with this DC pulse wave shape. I really like the feel of uh, a sign because it does feel like more like a pedal pulse. It's a little softer transition up and down. And you can kind of play with that and uh, you get a lot different feel with those different pulse waveforms. The pulse setting on. Yeah, so it's 
All right, so we're gonna make a real quick run on pulse. We're gonna go up to our maximum, the 999.9 hertz. Um, you're not gonna be able to see this pulse. It's too fast without uh, a super expensive camera, but we're just gonna run a bead with it, show you what it sounds like uh, and how stable the arc is. 1000 hertz DC pulse. So we're just running a little lab joint here, not trying to do anything fancy, just fusing it. Just kind of showing you what this pulse sounds and looks like. All right, the next feature we have is a spot and fast tack. So this is a pretty cool feature. It's a lot like a pulse, but it's, it's an on and off. It's not a high and low, it's an on and off. So you can do like a one second, let's see, like a one second tack. You can go up to 10 seconds. So this is 10 seconds on. Obviously you can go down to 0.1. So that's a really fast, just a, a little blip of, of amperage. We'll just set that to 2.1 for now. And this is your stitch timer. So this is your gap between your, your amperage. So you could have a two second tack time with a five second pause between each of those. We can also do fast tack instead of our, our spot or stitch timer. So now this is measured in milliseconds. So we can have an on time of 20 milliseconds all the way up to 250 down to 10 milliseconds. So this is 10 milliseconds on and even you can basically do you do one millisecond between your, your 10 millisecond pulses all the way up to 250 milliseconds between each. And again, this is just an on or off. This is not a high and low pulse. This is an on and off pulse. And we'll go, we'll run a couple beads with this here in a second where I can show you uh, how fast this actually is. You can't even really see it once you start getting up in these like 10 millisecond pulse for, um, especially when you go down in timing. You know, we can go down to one millisecond, so 10 milliseconds on with a one millisecond pause between each one. It's so fast, you really almost can't even see it. But this is what um, kind of your cold weld features. That's what this timing is really, is really for, is for a super fast, high intensity blast. If you're dealing with really thin material or delicate part, um, you can get a really super concentrated uh, tack on this. All right, so that's just a real a uh, quick run through of all the uh, the DC features of the Typhoon. Again, between the 230, 330, and 500, um, the features and menu are all the same. So you just have a, an amperage increase difference is uh, the only difference between them. Again, real quick run through. Uh, we're gonna take a deeper dive in, in some of those features, but just wanted to show you how to access them, um, what they do, how to adjust them, um, just as a, as a quick preview. So um, feel free to play with them. Reach out to me anytime you need a something answered. Um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, McCollum.WeldFab on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I'm the admin on, the, on both Everlast Facebook pages. So feel free to send me a message. Uh, email address is jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S at everlastwelders.com. Um, and I'm also extension 223. If you have a question, feel free to reach out. We'll see you guys soon.